In this video, I'll be taking some more examples on the generating functions for the partition of integers with some restrictions. Uh, this is my next uh, another video on the generating functions and partition of integers. The previous video is added in the link. So I'll, I'll take up this example. Let AR denote the number of partition of R into distinct parts of arbitrary sizes. Uh, so few things that I want to recall here. We said that a partition of a positive integer n is a finite non-increasing sequence of the positive integers n1, n2 up till nr such that whose sum is n. So maybe if we don't get confused with this notation r, let me to take k. Here we say that there are k parts. So the length of the partition is k and the part sizes are ni. So these are the part sizes. So in my last video, we said that if you take a fixed part sizes, suppose if I take let these are the part sizes 1, 2, 3 and we want to write the partition corresponding to these part sizes and they can appear at as many as number of times. So in this case, what we did, the generating function corresponding to these as part sizes is we can write 1 plus so x raised to power. OK, so for this, we can write x is per 1 coming 0 time x to the power 1 coming 1 time and so on this is for size 1 similarly for size 2 x to the power 2 coming 0 times plus x square coming 1 times and so on for size 3 we can write x to the power 3 coming 0 times plus x to the power 3 coming 1 time and so on so here what we mean Suppose I want to write a partition for n is equal to 4 where only these part sizes are used. So for n is equal to 4, we can have 2 plus 2, we can have 3 plus 1, we can have 2 plus 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 as a partition. Which one is not allowed? A partition of 4, this is not allowed because the part size 4 is not given in the setup. And we do not have any restriction on the part size. It may appear as many as number of time. So in case we want to write the same example 1, 2, 3. These are the part sizes. And we want to write the partition into distinct part. Okay. So if these are the part sizes. But the part size I am going to use. They are distinct. So in case if it is distinct. I am going to write the first part appearing 0 time. The first part appearing one time. That's it. It cannot repeat. It can. This sequence cannot go up till infinite. Because we are saying that part will appear distinct. So these partition for n is equal to 4. Only this is allowed. Here the parts are repeating. It's not allowed. Here 1 is repeating. Here also 1 is repeating. These two examples I have already covered in my last video. You can see that. Plus x square 1. And then we can say x cube appearing 0 time, x cube appearing 1 time. So now continuing the discussion from here on uh, things which we did in the last class. Now here I want to say number of partition of R into distinct part of arbitrary sizes. Now the part size is not defined. So, so from the definition we say part sizes are positive integers. So now what we can say part sizes as per the problem is given as arbitrary sizes. So when the part sizes are arbitrary, this means any part size can come 1, 2, 3, 4 up till infinite. Any part size can come. And so for this one, the generating function is easy. We have said we want to generate partition. Okay, so this is a partition into distinct part. We want to generate the partition into distinct parts. With arbitrary sizes so arbitrary sizes means sizes can be anything but the partition has to be distinct so let's write the corresponding generating function this is for size 1 size 1 can appear 0 times size 1 can appear maximum 1 time because of the distinct now this is for size 2 size 2 can appear maximum 1 time this is for size 2 this one is for size 3 and this one next is for size 4 and we continue. So x to the power 4 appearing 0 time, x to the power 4 appearing 1 time and we continue because the part size are not fixed. So this is same as 1 plus x. This is same as 1 plus x square. 
this is same as one plus x cube and we continue this is same as product so this is the symbol i'm using for product i varying from 1 to infinity 1 plus x to the power i here i is the part size so this is the generating function for partition into distinct parts with arbitrary sizes so we have not fixed any sizes we can take again an example suppose i want to write the partitions partitions of 6 into distinct part okay so distinct part and the part size is not fixed so this is of arbitrary size so we have not fixed any part size so we will see that partition of 6 as 6 this is distinct then we can have 5 plus 1 this is distinct 4 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 plus 1 so these were the relevant partitions these are the relevant partition and if i want to see how we have calculated this from the generating function which term we must have multiplied in these brackets so we can simply say when i multiply x to the power 6 so when you expand this one this is 1 plus x to the power 4 then you have 1 plus x to the power 5 then you have 1 plus x to the power 6 and so on so when this x to the power 6 is multiplied by this one we get x to the power 6 similarly x to the power 1 multiplied by x to the power 5 similarly x square multiplied by x4 or you multiply x uh, 4 multiplied by 2 so basically this 2 is when multiplied by 4 that's the same thing similarly x3 multiplied by x square multiplied by x to the power 1 we get this as a partition of 6 so by simply tracing the sizes we can know the coefficient and the coefficient of this generating function give us the partition into distinct parts of with arbitrary sizes so this is the generating function now in this example i want to find let ar be the number of partition of r into odd parts so here basically this is odd part sizes so a part is called odd if and only if it is having an odd value so for example we may say 6 so we can have 5 plus 1 we can have 3 plus 3 you can see the part size that i'm using they all are odd and we can have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so these are the partition of 6 into odd parts so we can say partitions of 6 into odd parts so otherwise there are part, uh, there are 11 partition of 6 if we do not if we include all other even parts as well but if I just look at the odd part, then these are the partition. And I want to find the generating function. Now from here, this is very clear. The part sizes that we are using are odd and they may appear anytime. So what are the part sizes? Either we can use 1 or we can use 3 or we can use 5 or we can use 7 and so on. These are the part sizes that we can use. So for this, what will be the generating function? We and they may repeat any number of times. So here we can have for size 1 then we can have for size 3 we can have for size 5 we can have it for size 7 for size 1 size 1 may not appear size 1 may appear once size 1 may appear twice and so on this may repeat similarly size 3 may appear zero times size 3 may appear one time and continue size 5 may appear zero times size 5 may appear one time and continue and similarly the other terms so we have infinite now if you look at this one this is 1 plus x plus x square plus so on this one is 1 plus x cube plus x to the power 6 and so on this one will be 1 plus x to the power 5 and so on here it will be 1 plus x to the power 7 and so on and infinite so the series are going to be infinite now each term follow a gp sequence so we will simply write here the part size was 1 in this case the part size was 3 in the next case the part size was 5 and continue now we know that in the sequence in the denominator in the exponent we have only the odd terms so i will simply write this is product 1 over 1 minus x to the power 2n minus 1 when n varies from 1 to infinity so if i take n is equal to 1 i will get the first term if I take n is equal to 2, I will get the second term and so on. And this is the generating function for partitions 
partitions of n or r whichever you want to write into odd parts so when again expanded and we can multiply we will see that the coefficient of p6 here partition into odd parts of 6 is how many we have calculated 1 2 3 4 4 so if i just look here so here in this coefficient of x to the power 6 is 4 now to see that what is the coefficient of x to the power 6 we can simply say we are going to look x1 repeating 6 times we can see x1 repeating 3 times and x3 appearing 1 time we can see x1 appearing 1 time and x5 appearing 1 time or we can see x3 appearing 1 time uh, sorry x3 appearing 2 times so this is the case so these are the corresponding relevant cases and we can find the generating for a partition of r into odd part so in my next video i'll be covering some more examples on the generating functions and partitions